Okay, picking up where we left off, while we're dealing with the uh, trying to determine the masses of these two of these two objects, we have the speed of, of star one, the speed of star two. We have its period and the relationships with the different distances. And uh, we find that the speed of star one is three times that of star two, and that implies that the distance of um, of star one is three times that of star two, and uh, because they have the same periods, and the masses are inversely relation related. Okay, so if we then go and essentially recopy this and kind of move the move the data, we have some conversions to make. Um, we're going to, since we're trying to apply Kepler's law, I'm going to uh, I'm going to um, do two different forms of Kepler's law: one with AU in years, and the other one with days and um, and kilometers. And I want to do this bo both because uh, because it's useful to do this, but also because it's 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 handy to to uh, to practice some of these conversions. So let's start with uh, converting the 2.6 years to days. Um, we want to have this equal to days. I happen to, I want to cancel years, so I put it down at the bottom, and I have days up here, 365 days in one year, and that turns out to be 900. And 49 days. Okay, now let's do the conversion from um, kilometers per second to kilometers per day. And so I'm going to do this, put this over here, give some space, write the, give another little space and write the units. Now I'm going to be multiplying by things, ratios of things to get rid of the units that I have to give me the units that I want. I have seconds on the bottom, so I'm going to put seconds on the top. I know to get to days, I need to go to minutes. It means I need to cancel the minutes on the top to hours, hours, to days. And this is actually not, this is going to be kilometers per day as a unit. That's what I'm, that's what I'm, uh, um, Morning to do. So I'm converting kilometers per second to kilometers per day. Notice how, how, how when I was looking at the units, I noticed, hey, wait, a day's going to be on the bottom, and then I noticed, hey, I had days on the top, and that told me I had made a mistake. So, so I can correct it. Thus, using the units, it helps me to uh, correct things. Now I can go back and apply the number to the proper thing: 24 hours in one day, and this turns out to be. Um, about what 1.8 times 10 to the sixth kilometers per day. Okay, so this is the circumference divided by the divided by the period. This lets me write instead that a one is equal to v one p over two pi which now is 1.8 times 10 to the 6 kilometers per day times 949 days divided by 2 pi and that gets me 2.7 times 10 to the 8 kilometers. Notice the units kilometers per day times days so the days cancel. The units up on the conversion also canceled and they also said, uh, um, had that where seconds canceled with seconds, minutes with minutes, hours with hours, and, and then we end up with kilometers per day. Um, okay, so this is um, 2.7 times 10 to the 8 kilometers. If I wanted this in AU, I want to get rid of kilometers, and I want AU here, which will give me something in AU, and that's 1.5 times 10 to the 8 kilometers in one AU, and so this this turns out, <coughs> excuse me, to be about 1.8 AU. All right, so depending on which one, which, whichever one we we want to, knowing that A1 is three times a2 that immediately implies that a2 is a third so we have 
9 times 10 to the 7 kilometers, or a third of this, which is 0 0.6 AU. So we so we have so we have that, and then we have a total is the sum of these two. So the sum of those two, 2.7 times 10 to the 8 plus that gives me 3.6 times 10 to the 8 kilometers, which is also the same as 2.4 AU. All right. So now we have the period and the um, and the size of the orbit. I can do one of a few things. One is I could apply Kepler's law, and let's say I apply Kepler's law in the form where things are in AU in years. So I end up with a cubed over p squared is equal to the total mass. and this is in solar masses so I would end up with 2.4 AU this is cubed 2.6 years squared and this gives me 2 and it's going to be in solar masses and this is the sum 1 plus the other the other mass if I want to do it the other in the other way what I what, what I will do is the same sort of thing where I'll have M which is going to come out in kilograms is equal to a cubed in kilometers over P squared in days times this funny little constant 7.9 times 10 to the 10 units of kilometer day squared sorry kilogram day squared per kilometer cubed okay this gives me 3.6 times 10 to the 8 kilometers cubed all over 949 days squared times the 7.9 times 10 to the 10 kilogram day squared per kilometer cubed and that gives me a total mass of 4 times 10 to the 30th kilograms which is about two times our sun. Finally, now that we have the mass combined, what we have is m1 plus m2 is 4 times 10 to the 30th kilograms, but I also have that m2 is equal to 3 times m1 which means this is 4 times m1 so m1 is 10 to the 30th kilograms and m2 is 3 times 10 to the 30th kilograms and those are the final answers another way to put it also is that um, M1 is about a half of a solar mass and M2 is three halves of a solar mass.